Okay, welcome back, guys. This is another video related to code Java question. Today's topic is the video we will discuss the Firebase collector solution in the first part. Okay, so now coming to the first question in the Java. Uh, what is uh, why Java provides Firebase collector? And we ask the question to why Java provides the Firebase collector. So First, I will explain the answer about this question after that. Yeah. Yeah. There are no pointers, memory management, and the allocation is uh, done by the JVM. Since the memory allocation is automated after some time, JVM may go low on memory. At that time, JVM has to free memory from the use unused object to help with the process to reclaim memory Java. Provides uh, automated process for garbage collector. What is your point? Garbage, again, our first name is garbage collector. So, Java is not a particular pointer, is not in, available in Java. That's why so we have a garbage collector, garbage collector automatically call that and remove the uh, unused uh, object. So, This is all about IR questions. Okay. So now next question is our what is uh, what is the purpose of a garbage collector GC in Java? GC is the method is available in that Java. At the runtime, if you want to call the GC, so we use and what type of Java provides two methods. First is the system.gc and second one is the uh, second is the runtime.gc to request the JVM to run the garbage collector by using these methods, programmer can explicitly send request from garbage collector but the jbm process jbm process jbm process can reject this request and wait for some time before the running the gc what is the meaning that the java provides two other first is the system dot gc system dot gc and the garbage collector So, okay, so now Java is, we have two methods for the system.gc and the convenience runtime.gc can call by using. Sorry for that. Yeah. So process is rejected. So now here in this point, send the request by the garbage collector. But the JVM process scan rejected this request and wait for some time before running the GC. JVM process rejects this request. Other after request will be done. So system will GC and run time will be JVM reject when they have to wait for some time before they run the GC. Next question is how does garbage collection work in Java? Garbage collection is on Java. Java has an automated process called the garbage collector for memory one. Okay. It is a day one in Java that monitors the memory usage and performance memory play. Once JVM is low on memory, GC process find the unused objects that are not 
the friends to buy another object. He announced unused object clean up by garbage collector diamond. When does an object become eligible for garbage collection? Garbage collection is eligible. Object can be a garbage collection by JVM. If, if it is not reachable, there are two cases are deciding eligibility of object for the garbage collection. An object in sound that cannot be reached by a live thread. Right, a set of circularly referenced in the instance that cannot be reached by any other instance outside. So, this is two. Why do we use finalized method in Java? Java provides finalized method to perform any cleanup before the garbage collection. This method is an object class and it is invoked by JVM internally. Developers are free to implement these methods for any custom clean in case of garbage collection in case of garbage collection you can use it if an object is not garbage collected then this method may not be called this method is never invoked more than once by gb what are the different type of reference in java in java there are four types of references storage strong references soft references weak references Phantom references. These are references. Okay. How can we reference an unreferenced object again? We can provide the implementation in finalized method to reference and unreferenced object. For an unreferenced object, finalized method is called at the time of garbage collection. At this time, object can pass its reference. This to be finalized method and Revive itself. Revive itself. Next question is What kind of process is the garbage collector? What kind of process is the garbage collector thread? The garbage collection is the diamond process. Diamond process in the JVM. It is an internal process that keeps the checking memory uses and clean up of the memory. What is the purpose of the runtime class? The purpose of the runtime class is to provide the access to the JVM runtime system. This class provides a certain important method like runtime.free memory, runtime.max memory, runtime.gc. This method, this method returns the value of the free memory in JVM. This method, next one, second method, this method returns the uh, return the value of a memory that JVM can be used. Right? This method, you know that runtime.gc. This method can involve the garbage collectors. How can we involve an external purpose process in Java? Java provides the method runtime.getRuntime.exec to invoke the external process from Java. Uh, what are the use of runtime classes? Runtime class in Java provides the following benefits. Uses. It allows to reach data by keyboard. It can it can use system properties and environment variables. It helps in running non-Java programs from within a Java application. It helps in running non-Java programs from within a Java application. Now, next topic is our inner class. Some question related to inner class. Let's see. Let's just. Okay. What is the nested class? Sorry. In Java, nested class is a class declared inside another class. We can have a more than one class declared inside the okay. okay. How many types of nested classes are in Java? Java provides the four types of nested classes. Member in nested classes, local in nested class, anonymous in nested class, static nested class. Why do we use nested classes? There are following reasons for using nested classes. First is the logical grouping. Encapsulation, third one is the code clarity. Okay, nested classes. We can locally group class in one place. 
if one play, one class is useful to only one other class, then we put smaller classes within the larger class and keep them in the one file. This kind of nesting helps for classes in a top level class. Manage pack, make the package more streamlined. Encapsulation nested classes. Increase the encapsulation. Let's say there are two top label classes two and one okay two or one var ne needs access to private member of two we can hide class var within class two in this way private member of two can be accessed by class one so class two remain the encapsulated also class var remain hidden from the outside of the right this is that is encapsulation Hiding. code plate nested class make the code more readable and well organized only top level class are exposed the helper class are kept hidden and closer to code where it is used by top level classes what is the difference between nested class and inner classes the inner classes in Java is non-static class. It is a type of nested class that is defined in another class, but not qualified with the static mode. A nested class is an also class can be static nested class or non-static one. A inner class has access to other members of the encapsulate in closing classes, even if they are declare private or static nested classes cannot access the other member of the enclosing classes next is what is the nested interfaces nested a uh, nested interface interface is declared inside another interface of a class top level class by default it is static a nested interface is also known as static interface how can we access the non-final non-final local variable inside a local inner classes java allows a local inner class to access only constant local members so we have to make the non-final local variable as final constant to access it inside a local inner class can an interface be defined in a class yes we can define a static nested interface within a class only the enclosing class can access it how can we create an object dynamically at a runtime in the how can we create object dynamically at runtime yeah. by using a uh, class dot new instance method a constructor dot new instance method reflection okay do we do we have the explicitly mark as nested interface public static a nested interface is implicitly public static so the modifier modifiers public and static are redundant in declaration why do we use static nested interface in java only the enclosing class can access a static nested interface. Consider the following code in that, like that. A, B, C. Inside the class, we have an interface X, Y, Z. We have declared one method and probably static word register callback, uh, passing that interface as a variable. Then client code we created A, B, C dot register callback, right? Public in this time. Now, this is the twenty question is completed. We will meet next video. Thanks.